Hey y'all, I'm Alex with Saw Mesa, Georgia, and today I'm down at the farm, down here with my dad and one of his friends, and we are attacking this big brush pile back here. We've worked on it before, but it has a lot more to go, so we, we try to eat at it a little bit at a time, and this is the time of year to do it. It was low 30s this morning, excuse me, upper 30s this morning, and should get up to 65 today but i don't think the snakes will be back out so we're going to try to knock it out while we can and do as much as we can to just clear it up and the view from the other side is going to be a lot better once it's done because that is our barn over there and right now that the view from over there is blocked from all the debris so this over here where i'm standing is where the apple trees are back over somewhere over there this side, yeah there and somewhere over there hard to tell in the glare but uh should be some good work today i'm still a little bit sore from climbing a tree the other day it's been four days my legs are still a little sore but i bet that uh, the lactic acid lactic acid will get worked out today so i'm glad to be down here and moving around the only way to really deal with a pile like this is just to start and just take one stick at a time, one rock at a time or anything in there and move it and not worry about uh, if we're going to finish that day or, or how it's going to. So that's what we did. We just took one log at a time and moved it over and before long we had made some pretty good progress. There's my dad. It's hard to get in there with the chainsaw and get some of this because so much of it has wire in there, barbed wire in uh, old fence and random pieces of whatever that is over there. So when they built this barn, this is the barn my mom had built before she died. That was on her, her to-do list of things she wanted to accomplish after she found out she was diagnosed with cancer. She said, well, we're gonna have a new barn. So that is Claire's barn. That's what we call it, my mom's name. But uh, it's my dad's friend George over here. So it's a work day today, but since my dad and George are both my clients, I'll talk business with them and it'll be a work day. But the pile is, is slowly shrinking. Most of the wood's rotten, so we don't even have to get the chainsaws in there. I do have my new chainsaw, my new chain today, which I'm excited about using, but this stuff done needed it's all just breaking off before we started this whole section on the right here right through these uh on through the lean to couldn't even see through there now the whole thing is lower this peak part up here that peak up here that was where all of it was before you wouldn't have been able to see my track through here before so we've done a tremendous amount of work and there's some barbed wire in there, some other old fence that was in there. So you can't get it all. But what I was saying earlier, get away from the chainsaw, son. I was saying earlier, this barn is the new barn. And when they, the old barn here, they just pushed all that, all that debris over there with the bulldozer. And there was another pile they pushed way down where I just was over there. But we had a huge uh, bonfire. Uh, I think that was one of Susie's first trips down here about a year and a half ago. We burned all that. It was out in the middle, but this pile behind me here is way too close to the barn and all this other stuff, so we're not going to mess with it. Got another couple hours of work to do, hopefully, before we have to get back on the road. We have some other errands to do nearby. Uh, but some good work done today. I'm just excited this pile is almost gone. Um, I don't know how we're gonna get that done with all the barbed wire and other junk in there. Uh, I might have to just push it lower and let it rot and then pull it out over time because I can't risk taking the chainsaw to it. This is a little bit of a before and after footage. So here's the before. We, you can see the part on the left there. We've taken some out already and then I remembered to, to get this recording. Here's the after where we were pretty much wrapping up and putting things away and I was able to get this. You can see a massive difference now. It's, it's pretty much clean through there. Well, we finished up about as much as we could. Pretty much what's left back here is dirt. 
uh, some little little sticks and stuff, but a lot of that will wash away when it rains. Then we'll be able to get through here and um, pick up anything that we see left over after that. But we got more than we expected to get done today, so we're happy about that. And um, nobody got injured, so that's always a good thing for a day on the farm. Um, but thanks for watching. I appreciate it, y'all. And we'll see you on the next video, or you'll see us. Thanks. Bye.